Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this other Christmas figure that you could also use as a Christmas tree topper because I made it on a cone. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make a no-fail cone. So first I've just got a ballpoint pen here and a piece of yarn. I'm just going to wind the yarn around my ballpoint pen. I'm going to choose a size that I would like my cone to be and I'm just going to hold the yarn right there in the corner and then make my half circle. And then you're going to cut that out and then you'll roll it into a cone. And then you can staple it closed. If you want a fat cone, leave it wider. And if you want a narrow cone, you can see that I overlapped it in here. And you can make these any size. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the coat. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 6 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to start with a chain. To make a chain, you simply pick up this, pick up the yarn with the hook and pull it through. And you're going to make your chain as long as the cone. And then you will single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch across the chain. Like that. Like that. And I'm going to keep working. So I'm working in the ribbing stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to work only in the back side of the stitch and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. And that's what that looks like. So you can see that that's how I worked this entire piece. And at the end of this row, you're just going to repeat this row again, chain one and turn, working only in the back side of the stitch, single crochet in each stitch across the row. And I just worked until I had a section that was long enough to wrap around the cone, and it's as tall as the cone. So that's the coat. And this is the sleeves. I chain 10. I worked 10 rows. So there's my two sleeves. And then this is for the mittens. And these are the mittens, and I have two mittens, so I chained seven for the mittens, and I worked four rows. And this is the hat, and the hat is exactly the same size as the coat, and for this I chained eleven. So that's all the pieces that I need. So now I'm going to sew all these pieces into tubes. So for the sleeves, I'm going to fold them in half. I'm going to thread a yarn end into a needle and sew up the side. So I'll do that to both of these sleeves. For the mittens, it's the same thing. I'm going to hold, fold this in half, and then I'm just going to sew the seam. You don't have to sew the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I have everything sewn into tubes. This is the coat, the hat, the sleeves, and the mittens. A hot glue gun is best for assembling this figure, but you can also use Elmer's glue. So I'm going to take a mitten, and I'm going to place it inside the sleeve, and you can either take a few stitches in there, or you can just take a dab of Elmer's glue and just put some on each end, hold it inside the sleeve. So I'm going to take my cone and I'm going to slide it in some glue and put some all along the bottom. Just going to take some yarn, I'm going to put it down here like that, put each of the arms on the sides. I'm going to tie yarn right around like that and I'm just going to put some glue under each one of these arms so there's my sleeves in the body to make the head I just cut a piece from an old t-shirt bring these around like that and I'm going to place some glue here just make sure this front part is nice and smooth 
Now I'm going to take the hat and I'm going to place it on and I'm going to put some glue underneath. Now I have a popsicle stick here and I'm going to stick that popsicle stick inside the head. Apply some glue. I'm going to slide that popsicle stick right down into the cone and I'm going to put glue all inside all around to secure that head down inside the cone. For the top of the hat I'm just going to tie a piece of yarn around the top. To make the beard I'm going to use some gray yarn. I'm going to wrap it around my four fingers. Cut another little piece. Tie this in a bundle. Cut the loops open. I'm going to attach this one here and I'm going to make two more and attach them here. I'm going to put some glue underneath and glue that in place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make two more for here and I'm also going to make some to put all the way around to come down over the shoulders and down the back. Okay I have gone ahead and I've glued the beard all the way around and now I'm going to take some face blush and a little cotton swab and I'm going to put some pink cheeks and for the eyes I'm just going to take two of these pins and I'm going to color them black with a permanent marker like that and then I'm just going to stick them right in like that and I'm just going to make one more little bundle for a mustache like that. I have three buttons and I'm going to glue those down the front of the coat and I have some beads from a garland and I'm going to glue those around the bottom of the hat like that. I have some little bells here that I took off of one of my garlands because I left the bottom of these mittens open I can tuck that right up inside and I'm going to put some glue in there to hold those in. And I have a little bit of greenery that I just took off of one of my garlands to form a little wreath. And these came like this in a package. They have a little bit of gold wire attached. So I'm going to twist that on. And I'm going to hot glue that there. And I have this piece of ivy. I'm going to put that around his head. And I'm also going to glue that there. Like a little cluster of those. Glue those over here on the sides. Okay, I've gone ahead and glued that on. Now I could do more to it, but I'm going to stop there. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make this cute little Santa Claus figure. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.